Hey, this is beautiful British Columbia and the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. Uh, now, before you decide that you want to skip to another video, just pause for a second. Well, not literally, uh, but stop and just think about, yeah, this video might be a little bit old, but look how wonderful it is that everyone is just enjoying the bridge, enjoying the park. No cell phones. This is before the days of, you know, the bloggers taking over. This is just families enjoying themselves. Look at people. They're actually using the handrails. Safety first. What a concept. And you'll even get to see... Wait, me as a teenager? Nope. Okay, how about this? I'll show you some parts of uh, this Capilano Park that maybe you haven't seen before or even known have existed. Like these totem poles, which are amazing. And you definitely got to check this out while you're out in British Columbia. Uh, not only the totem poles, but maybe other parts of the park, again, that you haven't seen before, or at least it's been a while, right? So things have changed, you know, since 2000. So let me take you to a little video tour of the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. <laughs> Don't you love seeing this slippery caution sign, especially as you're about to go on this, you know, 100 meter long, you know, suspension bridge that's teetering and tottering 70 meters above the Capilano River. Uh, but I assure you this will be well worth it. You're going to love this experience. Now, for a lot of people around the world, especially Canadians, seeing snow, not a big deal. But for me, being from Arizona at the time, you know, it was incredible being able to experience what snow uh, felt like, uh, seeing waterfalls, just water just gushing out from random cliff sides here at the park. This is an amazing, lush forest. Again, if it's not just a bridge, you're going to love just hiking through this amazing park in one of the most beautiful, beautiful places in the world. Uh, and as we get to see these story poles, you know, it's definitely uh, remarkable to see the rich history of the indigenous people of Canada and seeing the influence they've had in really preserving the balance of nature and beauty in this park. All right, now let's get to the suspenseful part. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going down the bridge and keep in mind, it's gonna be me as a 12, 13 year old with a big old eight millimeter camcorder in my hand. So uh, it's not gonna be that steady, crystal clear video that you're gonna see from video bloggers these days, but you can hopefully appreciate the wholesomeness of seeing this park without people with cell phones everywhere. And did I mention that I was not a professional blogger back in those days? Nope. And anyone who has motion sickness, uh, you're very welcome. All right, so you've made it through with me so far. Congratulations. I hope you haven't thrown up yet. Um, this is what it looks like on the other end of the bridge. And, you know, if you're you know, a kid, it's kind of fun. A lot of interactive, hands-on activities that you get to experience as you're learning about the park. Uh, as a kid, it was kind of cool to get those little passport books they gave you and you got to, like, stamp uh, the places that you went through the park. Not sure if they still do that. Or if you are an avid hiker or just like nature, so many walking trails that you could also enjoy. Uh, again, being from Arizona, I just thought it was a kick, <laughs> literally, uh, just be able to kind of feel what the snow was like.
Yeah, so again, it's not just about the bridge. Uh, one thing that's surprising is that there's also amazing trails out here. So do plan to try to spend an entire day at the park if you can, so that you can enjoy all the trees and nature that this park has to offer. Uh, look at the stat sheets uh, along all these different trails that you have in Capilano. Uh, you have these trees that, you know, many of them are over, you know, 1500 years old. So some really ancient trees, uh, quite a spectacle. If you love, again, you know, history and a little biodiversity, you get little slugs, um, squirrels, so many different birds. Uh, you'll love this if you are a nature enthusiast. Whoops. 